Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Blast Off. Hope you guys had a chance to watch last week's episode of Blast Off. If you didn't, you're gonna wanna go back and watch that because you may watch that and realize you've been a part of a Zoom meeting like that. Well, this week we are continuing with Philippians 4, 6, and 7. We're told not to be anxious about anything, but man, what do we do with that anxiety? We give it to God in prayer with thanksgiving in our hearts. Man, I wanna encourage you to do that. I also want to encourage you to enjoy this episode of Blast Off. Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Angela and Miss Kim. Hi. We are here today to talk about our memory verse. We thought a fun way to memorize our verse this week would be to do a puzzle. So, just want to remind you of our verse this week. Miss Kim, it's a long one, isn't it? It's very long. It's a but long one. But we can one. do it. We can do it. It's Philippians 4, 4 6 through 7. Do, do not, not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, situation by prayer and, and petition, with thanksgiving, present, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So what we did was Miss Kim used her handy dandy scissors and she cut up a puzzle. You can write it on a piece of paper with a crayon or a piece of uh, or a pencil, or you can use colored markers, or you can do what Miss Kim did and she printed it on the computer. You can print it out. And you can make it hard or you can make it easy, depending on how many pieces of the puzzle you want. Um, it's a pretty long verse, so you can cut up a lot of pieces of the puzzle, or you can cut up just a few to make it easier. 
So, okay, let's are we gonna do our puzzle? Let's do our puzzle. Okay, all right, all right let's go. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right there. Good job, boys and girls. Welcome back to game time, everyone. This week, Miss Brenda and Pastor Jody are gonna go one-on-one -on -one in a game that involves a lot of air. Last week, Mr. Eric talked about our lungs and how we breathe. So this game, Pastor Jody and Miss Brenda are going to fill up their balloon. And when they fill it up, they're gonna use the air that's in the balloon to shoot and knock over all of these cups off of the table. The first one to knock all the cups off their table wins. Here we go. Game begins in three, two, one, go! All right, way to go, Pastor Jody. All right, you guys, to play this game, all you need are just some cups and some balloons. Hope you have fun playing this game. Pow, out. All right, everybody, did you have fun with that game? I hope you did. I hope you've had a good time this entire episode of Blast Off. I hope you are encouraged and challenged to memorize Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Now, before we leave, I want to give you a little bit of a challenge. This one may or may not be as easy as some of the others. You may actually need some help with this one, and I know you will have to get some supplies. What I mean by that is this week's challenge is to create a prayer journal or a prayer list. So you'll definitely need something to write in or write on. Let me show you what I want you to do for the week. I've started mine. It says, my prayer journal. And then on this side of the page, I just wrote some things that I need to be praying about some things that I might be anxious about, like my test on Tuesday, or the friend that missed school today, maybe even my soccer game on Saturday, or I'm lost my favorite toy. Doesn't matter how big or how little our concerns are, God wants to help us. But at the same time, I've written down me and God, because I have some responsibilities and God has some responsibilities. We just think about that test on Tuesday. It's not God's responsibility to give me the answers. It's my responsibility to study hard, right? So that I'm not anxious about the test. But I can ask God to help me. God can encourage me and prompt me to turn off the TV and study more. God can encourage me to read more. God can encourage me to do what I'm supposed to do. And I can ask God to help me with that. Think about the friend that was sick at school or missed school today. I can find out why he missed school. I can ask God to help him get better if he was sick. I can ask, I'm not the one that makes him feel better. That's God's responsibility. So you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I want you to create a prayer journal. You have some responsibilities but God's the one that's in control. Remember, we can trust God no matter what.